owns the information, he owns the world. Winston Churchill popularized the phrase. These words of caution are especially relevant today as we are constantly bombarded with many different forms of media that heavily influence on the world around us. Hello, my name is Vasilis Sabaeva. I am a young journalist attempting to become a leader in media literacy by providing unbiased news and provoke thought and inspiring current and future generations to question the information they receive by thinking critically. But first, here is a little bit about myself. I'm 20 years old and I was born in St. Petersburg, the cultural capital of Russia. Then I was in the fifth grade, my first article was published and I fell in love with journalism. I continued to pursue this passion and in ninth grade I became the editor-in-chief of my school magazine. I later conducted a study on the role of mass media in the personality of the modern adolescent. There I researched media literacy among Russian teenagers. Then one day an incredible opportunity changed my life. At the same conference I presented the findings from my research and was recognized as the best in the conference by the jury. There I met a famous journalist from TASS that said their agency wanted me to work with them. I was so excited. At just 15 years old I started writing articles for a few magazines and participated in forums. At this point I knew without a doubt I wanted to be a journalist. From then I went to win the TV Journalism Award at the All-Russian Competition. I met the report about the filmmaker Alexander Sakurov's The Most Significant Work, Russian Arc. Since then I have interviewed many famous people for the magazine Castor, was a news correspondent on the Channel One and became the assistant editor-in-chief at TASS. However, one of my favorite projects was working with St. Petersburg's Hermitage Museum on the Hermitage we are emerging in the history, which is the first virtual reality movie about Russian's history while I also worked as a PR manager and journalist with Konstantin Khabiansky, a Russian actor who has releasing a movie. And this is just the beginning. Why, you might ask me? It's simple. Journalism is my passion. Currently, I'm studying at St. Petersburg University's Graduate School of Management. This is because, in my opinion, a good journalist should be well-rounded, knowledgeable about economics, finance, politics, social science and much more. I'm specializing in public administration because my goal is to make Russia a better place for future generations and do my part to improve my beautiful hometown. On top of my course load, I am currently the head of the marketing and media department at the management of the Future Conference, GSOM interviewer, PR director for the jazz band and member of the First Generation Foundation. Now I am writing coursework about effective communication between government, media and non-profit organizations. In the next 3-5 years, I plan to complete my master's in the management in media program and work as an editor-in-chief or producer on TV. However, my dream is to become a TV journalist and help those in need. I think journalists play an important role keeping people up to date with current events and enabling the government to address the concerns of the people. I have chosen to apply the Media Exchange for Global Achievement program because it presents a unique opportunity to network with like-minded young journalists, gain a better understanding of diverse media outlets. Considering we now spend over a third of our day on social media, it's becoming increasingly important to understand the content of messages we receive and send. By educating our youth on media literacy, we may become more informed citizens and think critically about the information we receive and not take everything for face value. I love my country. I'm proud of Russia. However, media literacy is a pressing issue. There are many unanswered questions like, should we isolate our internet from our countries? How can they protect children from exposure to harmful media content? Should freedom of speech be guaranteed? I believe that with mega program we will find some answers on these questions and additionally to strengthen the relationship between Russia and the United States. Hope to see you this summer on the Media Exchange for Global Achievement. We can make the world better if we come together. We can.
make the world better.